All right, so welcome to my book talk. So today I'm gonna go over A Long Walk to Water by Linda Sue Park. So this one is a New York Times bestseller and a Newbery medalist for a single shard. Um, it is based on a true story and it's, um, it's set up by telling the story of two different children, both 11 years old in um, Southern Sudan. So uh, their names are Naya and Salma. And let me give you a little background. I have a few like checks, but uh, and this is all based off of the first chapter. Um, so both are 11 years old and are, and are in Southern Sudan. Naya has to fight for her survival by walking long distances for water. We see that early on in her first little um, excerpt of like her story. And then Salt, Salma lived somewhat a picture-perfect childhood. So he lived in a village and he had everything readily available where Naya didn't. Um, by the end of the first chapter, the violence of the war reached Salma's village. So all of that picture-perfectness kind of was destroyed. Um, some of the themes that I noticed in the book were hope and survival. So I wrote a few examples down just to talk about. Um, so for hope, an example I used was Salva finds motivation in his desire to reunite with his family. So this leads to him leading children to safety, helping several people along the way. He uses his uncle, who's with him, as also kind of like a motivation. By the end of the book, he moves to the U.S. and he tells a story in schools and stuff like that so that he can... Um, teach hope and resilience and everything like that. And then survival, I used an example from Naya's story and Naya traveled those distances for that water um, because she didn't have another choice. Like she had to travel that distance because it was either travel and lose her comfort of like staying at home or whatever. She had to travel that distance so that she could get to the water so that her and her family didn't die of dehydration. So she chose that over comfort. And um, one of the things that I, uh, it's actually towards the end, but one of the quotes that I love the most from the book is on page 117. I left like a little sticky note, but um, I kind of underlined it so you can kind of see it, but it says quitting, quitting leads to much less happiness in life than perseverance and hope. And that was a Salva quote. Um, and that's right there. And um, I 100% recommend this to be used in a classroom or just for like extra reading. Um, it's definitely something that I'll be giving to my younger brother who is at the age that you could use this in a classroom. And um, I think it's nice to see other dynamics of what other people go through and what happened during times of war and what challenges children faced and how they overcame and with this being based on a true story, I think that's, like, excellent. Like, I think it's amazing that you can take stories like this and turn it into a novel and use it in the classroom or use it, like, just as, like, a little reading group with your, like, with my family or with your family or with, like, a reading friend. But um, I definitely recommend this story. Four out of five stars for me. And I only give it four out of five because I always think there's room for improvement. I never give five. But, um yeah. So thank you for listening.